The Adirondack experience here in Blue Mountain Lake in the heart of the Adirondacks is the home to some of the most interesting pieces of history of the Adirondacks to be found anywhere. And beginning this year, late in the summer August weekend, it is also the home of something brand new, the Mohawk and Abenaki Arts Festival. So come on in and let's take a look at some incredible arts and crafts, things all handmade that you're not going to find just anywhere. Now, as a poor white kid growing up in Western Oregon in the 50s and 60s, I had little contact and no understanding of the Native American culture. Indians, as we called them, lived on remote reservations and appeared close up only in the movies, looking more like Italian bit players than the real thing. So imagine, after all these years, being welcomed right into the heart of the Mohawk and Abenaki culture for an afternoon. The result of a perfect collaboration between the museum and the region's indigenous artisans. Well, we wanted to give the Mohawk and Abenaki communities a venue to uh, sell their artistic production here in the Adirondack region. Uh, there hasn't been one to date. So some of the artists fly as far away as Santa Fe, Indianapolis, or uh, Denver, um, Phoenix to uh, sell their goods. And we figured it would be a great idea to be able to uh, have them be able to sell things right here. One of the first things that caught my eye was the remarkable beadwork in the moccasins crafted by Anna Thompson. Well, for us, it's a cultural thing, right? Right. It's a representation of who we are a lot of the time. Right. Um, there's people going around with just plain leather moccasins. I make just plain leather moccasins, no beadwork on it whatsoever, to all the way to as fancy as I can get them. Look at this. You know. That's gorgeous. This is my first pair of boots I made. Congratulations. That's beautiful. Across from Anna, I found Sunny Boy Guitars, the handmade creations of Glen Hill, Jr. Who buys a homemade guitar? I'm looking for the guy who's had enough of the factory cookie cutter guitars, wants something special. He wants a little bit beefier neck on his 62 SG, and he wants a little bit beefier body, or he wants it semi hollow, or he, he wants a combination the factories don't offer within a reasonable price range. Now, here's a very talented craftsman, Paul Thomas, who works with bird feathers. But not to worry, these feathers are imported and I am assured, are from non-endangered species. Is there a particular meaning to a particular fan? Well, in our ways as uh, Ganyageha people, Mohawk people, they say some of these feathers have meanings. Uh, like these ones here, they say they, uh, uh, it's a protection, it's a protection fan. Uh, certain kind of negative energies may be trying to affect you, your family. They say they pray with this, so nothing negative happens, uh, protects you against uh, sicknesses, uh, bad luck, uh, things like that. So, in a way, you're kind of in the good luck business. I'm in the very good luck business. Yeah, it really is amazing the wonderful things that the artists and uh, the Akwesasne Reservation and in the Abenaki community are producing uh, not only traditional uh, wares such as uh, baskets and beadwork, but there are um, uh, regalia, in other words, clothing, as well as paintings, prints, uh, just all sorts of things. Do you plan on another one of these? Oh, yes. Next year? Yes, this is going to be an annual event. This is uh, simply the first and this is going to be a permanent attraction here at the Adirondack Experience, just as we also have a rustic furniture fair that's been long-standing, an antique show, a Made in the Adirondack North Country show. So this will be part of uh, the overall repertory of special events here at the institution from here on. The Mohawk and Abenaki's art market was a wonderful experience, but I think I learned a lot more than just finding another really interesting place to do a little bit of shopping next year. What I was introduced to was a whole new culture that I didn't know very much about, but a culture that was eager to teach me as long as I was willing to listen. 
For People Near Here on Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Derek Muirton. People Near Here on Mountain Lake PBS is supported by Valcor Brewing Company.